Helping in Virginia, Fairfax County prosecutor says two officers who shot and killed a man outside the Springfield Town Center in June were justified in doing so, and neither of them will face criminal charges. Northern Virginia Bureau reporter Max Marcilla joins us live from Fairfax County Police Headquarters. And Max, you were there back in June, moments after that shooting happened, and early in the investigation, police leadership was defending the officers' actions. They were, and now the Commonwealth's attorney, Steve Toscano, is doing the same, saying in a report he released on social media that neither of the officers who shot and killed Christian Parker will face any criminal charges. And in that report, he laid out why. Put your hands in the air! Show me your hands! I will shoot you! Tense moments before 37-year-old Christian Parker was shot and killed by Fairfax County Police back in June. They boxed in his car and shouted dozens of times for him to put this gun down. This body camera footage, plus reports, interviews, and evidence was presented to Steve Descano, the county's top prosecutor. And in this report, he says it was legally permissible for both officers to use the level of force they employed because there was reasonable fear that Parker intended to either kill or harm an officer. Descano declined our interview request, but it aligned with what Police Chief Kevin Davis said in July. I think they were brave. I think they acted lawfully. Jeffrey McKay, the chair of the county's board of supervisors, tells us he thought the police did everything they could to get Parker to comply. I did see the body worn camera footage. I'm not surprised uh, by his decision based on what I saw. In his report, Descano says Parker's fiance was interviewed after the shooting, and she said Christian told her he would rather die than go back to jail. At the time of the shooting, there were warrants out for his arrest after prosecutors say he stole his brother's gun and fired a shot inside his apartment. We pulled the numbers. Since 2005, there have been 50 officer-involved shootings in Fairfax County. 47 of those cases were closed by the Commonwealth's Attorney's Office, and only once was an officer indicted. Aaron, you're all right. One case that remains open is the July shooting death of Jasper Lynch in his McLean home, one in which his family said the police's actions cannot be justified. Now, Fairfax County's uh, internal documents say that the number of officer-involved shootings have been steadily declining, really minimal the last couple of years until this year. There have been six so far in 2022. That matches the most since 2008. Reporting live from the Fairfax County, Fairfax County Public Safety Headquarters, Max Marcilla, DC News Now.